Hey everybody, it's Lon Seibin with a dad pro tip review. Today we're looking at the Britax Affinity Stroller. This is like the Mercedes-Benz top of the line stroller for your child. And it uh, certainly feels like that and certainly has the price to feel like that. Uh, so this is it when you unfold it. It's very, fairly lightweight. Uh, the wheels did add a lot of weight. I was surprised when I pulled it out of the box, it felt uh, very light in my hand, except when I put the wheels on, uh, then it really got a bit heavier. In fact, I think my other stroller, which was a lot less expensive, is also a lot lighter than this. Now you'll notice there's no seat here. It does come with the seat. It's one of the few things it does come with. Uh, and the seat just kind of snaps in like this. I believe you can also attach like a bassinet and some other things that are optional. Uh, but the seat snaps in like this. You have uh, two controls on the side here so you can adjust it up and down a little bit for a reclining position. Uh, you can also adjust the, uh, the straps on board as well. So we'll just uh, move it back to uh, the position it was in before. It's a little wobbly though, which surprises me given uh, the price that you're paying. Uh, the footrest here can also be adjusted, uh, but you'll notice a couple things that are missing. First of all, there's no cup holders. And that's a big thing, at least for me and my wife, we like to have a bottle of water or something when we're out walking with the, with the young one, especially uh, maybe a juice bottle for her. And the other thing that's lacking from it is a sunshade. That's extra. You've got to buy the color pack for another $100. If you weren't spending enough on this already, uh, just to get the standard feature of a little sunshade you can uh, retract and, and, and retract out, uh, you've got to pay extra for it. Now what they do give you uh, are these, which are two little bags here that you can put on uh, over the top of the stroller here. This one is for the rain. Uh, so you can just kind of slide this over here, uh, envelop your child in a plastic bag essentially and keep the rain out. Uh, there are air holes in it, so you don't have to worry about them suffocating, but uh, you know, for something so expensive, this is really inelegant uh, as, a, as an option for uh, keeping the sun and rain out. There is another one that has kind of a mesh screen in front of it as well, uh, which again, it just feels kind of lousy when you're spending this much to have to uh, just use that for the sunshade as the base, uh, the base option. Now, when you fold it up with the chair on here, it will fold back back up with the chair. However, it gets a lot bigger. So let's just fold it up real quick here. I do like, again, how nicely it does fold up. Uh, but once you do fold it up, it's, you know, rather long. And, you know, you, you really lack a way to lift it. You really can't lift it uh, with this. I Maybe mean, you can if you snap everything together. But um, it, it's, it's not as elegant as it should be. And I'm not sure what the right solution would be. But I guess you could uh, pop the chair off and then, you know, have another piece here. But again, when you're trying to, you know, fumble with a kid or two and a stroller, having to put the stroller together like this might be a little bit too much. So, you know, it's, it feels nice. I know that they put some design work into this and some real thought into it. Um, but, you know, the option of having to pay another hundred dollars for the, just for the right to have a sunshade uh, seems to be a bit much for me. And the fact that there's no cup holders or really much storage on it at all uh, leads me to think that you might be able to do better uh, spending less with something with more features. This is Lon Seibin and this has been a dad pro tip. Thanks for watching.